Hey guys, it's Russell the Diesel Man, and I want to talk to you today not about cars or diesels or anything else like that, but I want to talk to you about how to hook up your Xbox, how to hook up your PC, and if you have a gamer card, a capture card, how to hook that up and make them all work on your HDTV. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw you a diagram because there is a lot of confusion about how to hook all these devices up, including the capture card. I'll show you how to do it with or without a capture card. With your Xbox, if you have a PlayStation, a Wii, or all three of them, and you want to hook them all to your PC, then I am going to show you exactly how to do that so it will come right to your HD TV so stand by let me get set up and I'll draw you the diagram alright guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw you a diagram I'm gonna show you how simple it is to hook up your computer your Xbox your Xbox 360 your Xbox one your PlayStation your Wii etc etc to your HD TV so Let's say I've got a PC here, all right, and down here I have an HD TV. Now, normally, if you just got the PC, you would just hook it directly with an HDMI cable, and this is all HDMI cable related. So you would just go from the PC to the TV. Now, what if you've got an Xbox? What if you've got a PlayStation? What if you've got a Wii? What if you have three of these? What if you have two? It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how with HDMI cables you're going to hook up the PC to the HDTV and if you've got an Xbox and or PlayStation, etc, etc. Now, if you've got a video card, I have a GTX 770. Okay, and it has an HDMI out. So normally that out would go to the TV. Okay, but if I do that and I want to use my Xbox, I've got to unplug and plug the Xbox in. If I want to, that's what we're trying to avoid. We don't want, we want to hook this up once and not have to plug and unplug cables. Now, also, if you have a capture card. Now the reason you would want a capture card, I use an Avermedia C985. The reason you would want to use this instead of a program like Camtasia or anything like that is because you will have zero frame rate drop and it uses almost zero uh, power from your processor because basically it's taking the signal from your graphics card and passing it through the capture card. The capture card is doing all the work um, not your CPU. Uh, if you had a program like Camtasia or some of the others that are out there, not only does your CPU have to process the gameplay, but it also has to process the recording software, it has to compress it, it has to save it into a video and audio file, etc, etc, which makes your frame rate drop. Now the other good thing about a capture card is if you're not a gamer and you want to record um, how-to's or whatever on your computer, then you would use that also and there's also the same benefits it's extremely fast it's a PCI Express card it's about this big it plugs right into your computer now on your capture card you have an in and an out okay now to make all these work without having to plug and unplug cables you're going to use something called an HDMI switch okay now normally they could have two ports they could have three four they could have ten it just depends on how many devices I'm going to show you because I have a PC and an Xbox uh, you may have a PC Xbox and a PlayStation you may have a PC an Xbox 360 and Xbox one it doesn't matter this works the exact same way you just need as many input ports as you have devices you can have 15 devices on here if you had a HDMI switch that had 15 ports. It doesn't matter. 
All right, so we know we only have, we're only gonna use one of the ports on the HD TV. So let's pretend like you only have one. Some newer TVs have two or three, but if you're going to capture your gameplay, like a lot of people do, you're gonna have to run them through this anyway. So you've got, on this situation, we've got four ports that are inputs and we have one output port. All right, so the common denominator of all four of these devices up here is that they, they we're gonna run them through the capture card, okay? But we've only got one input, okay? So what we do is we take our HDMI cable from our graphics card, we take that, and we run it into our input of our HDMI switch, okay? I've also got an Xbox. I'm gonna take my cable from my Xbox and I'm gonna run it into port two of the HDMI switch. Does it matter which port? No, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. Port one and port two. Now, let's say that that's all I have. Let's say you have a PlayStation, or you've got another computer, or you've got an Xbox One or whatever. Just run that to the next port and that to the next port. So however many devices you want to hook up is how many input ports your HDMI switch should have. Okay, so we've got both of these devices to the switch, and we've got to get this signal to the capture card. Very easy. Take an HDMI cable, you're gonna go from the switch the out from the switch to the input of the capture card, okay? So now what we do is when I wanna run the PC, I just make sure that this port is enabled and there's usually a little light. Most HDMI switches have a little infrared remote. Some of them have a little push button and it'll give you a light to whichever one is on. So the signal goes from the switch, out of the switch into the capture card. One more cable, we have to get our signal from the capture card to the TV. Very easy. Take your, sorry I'm drawing all over this, but so we take the capture card and go out of the capture card into the TV. So what we've done is we've taken the PC, we've run it into port one, we took my Xbox, ran it into port two, okay? And again, if you had a PlayStation, just put it in port three, a Wii, port four, Xbox one, port five, you get the idea. Now that we've got our signal going into the switch, we've got to take whichever signal we choose, we take that out and go into the capture card. Now, if you don't have a capture card, all right, let's pretend like you're not interested in that, you could care less about a capture card, then eliminate that and just take the HDMI out and run it to the TV, and then you're done, okay? If you do have a capture card, you're running it out of the switch into the input of the capture card, then you're running it from the output of the capture card to the HDTV. Now keep in mind again, this is all for HDMI. And if you're using component, etc., etc., I can't help you because I don't use that. But just remember, this works for as many devices as that you have. Just make sure you have that many inputs on your switch. Make sure when you buy an HDMI switch, there are some of them that you can have four outputs and one input. You don't want that. Like if you had four different monitors scattered around the house and you wanted what was on the TV to play on those monitors, kind of like what you would see at a sports bar, just make sure that you've got multiple inputs and then it'll have one output. This is the most common HDMI switch. So again, from the PC into the switch, out of the switch into the capture card, out of the capture card to the TV. <clears throat> The order, again, that you put these on is not important. Um, for my purposes, I've only got these two right here. So, um, very simple hookup. Just make sure when you buy your HDMI switch that you will need to get an extra cable because you're gonna probably be short one cable you'll need to have from the out to the capture card. So, as far as switches go, um, I've got one that I'm looking at buying, and when I do that, I will do a review on that. But I'm going to show you what the back of my PC looks like with the capture card, okay? It's very simple. It's just a small 
card that's got two HDMI um, plugs, female plugs in the back. Of course, my uh, video card has one. But I hope that this diagram is very simple for you to understand. This is a very simple process, okay? It's not confusing. And uh, just remember, if you don't have a capture card, we'll just take this from the out to the TV. This part right here stays the same, okay? So I'm going to switch over to give you a view of the uh, computer in the back. All right, so this is part of the reason that I want to do this. You know, there's a lot of wires going on back here. But on the back of my PC, you can see that I've got right here, this is my, uh, my graphics card. I've got an, out, an HDMI output, which would normally go to my TV. And then right here is my capture card. So the way that I've got this going right now is I have this cable right here coming out of my graphics card going in to the capture card and then out of the capture card to the TV. So right currently, since I don't have an HDMI switch hookup, I have to keep swapping cables, which is a pain. All right. Um, so this is what the switch is going to eliminate. I will not have to come back here and plug and unplug cables anymore. I will just be uh, switching it on the uh, switcher. And it's very, very easy to hook up, but this video is not about that. I wanted to explain exactly how to hook, how the cables go, because that seems to be a huge confusion for people.